Well, we are starting off the show with a question today. Do you believe in magic? Well, get ready to become a believer here now to perform some of the jaw-dropping trips seen at events up and down the state. David Martinez, magician. Ooh. David Martinez. Yes. Do you get that kind of introduction when you do your events? Not usually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so magician, but I was sort of, sort of looking at your website, and mm -hmm. you do, like, corporate events, you've done parties. So how did this all happen? How did you become a professional magician? Yeah, so I got into magic as a hobby about 20 years ago. I just, my kids were just, they hadn't been born yet, but I just wanted to do magic for them. Uh huh. But then I just got more and more into it. I started doing magic at work for my coworkers, <laughs> and then I started getting hired for gigs, and then about a year and a half ago, I quit my job. I was working at Apple to do magic full time. Oh my God, okay, yeah. so what was the catalyst that made you decide, okay, I can do magic full time and, and survive? Yeah, so I was, getting, I was getting gigs from my website and from other sources, referrals, and it was, just seemed like it was enough I was making enough money to do it, yeah. and um, no time like the present. Yeah. Also, because you know I'm not getting any younger. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I mentioned corporate events, parties. Mm -hmm. What are your favorite events to do? So uh, I also do weddings. So uh, the, among those three things, weddings are my favorites. Uh, right now is wedding season. I do about ten or twelve weddings a year. I just do close-up magic during the cocktail hour to keep guests entertained. It's a lot of fun. Everybody's so, always in a good mood. I love this idea, yeah. and I'm sure a lot of people wouldn't think about it. But I went to an event with the local historical society, and they did the same thing oh. at a fundraiser and so there was a magician sort of like just meandering mingling and it was so fun especially if you're there and you know you're talking to people you don't really know or like you're with Aunt Louise or whatever and you come up and you show a magic trick yeah I love that that's exactly right it helps people it generates conversation yeah. creates memories a lot of fun all right so yeah. let's say we go to my wedding one day Michael oh. and uh you have a magic trick for me. What yes. would you, what might you do? All right, this is what I might do. I might do something that I carry with me. Cards, of okay. course, cards. I've, in fact, I've created a trick for you called the Fresno Surprise. <gasps> oh, I so, love it, uh, okay. Let's do this here, Emily. Uh, you take, take any card you want out of the middle there. Okay. All right, and you can show them. I okay. will look this way. Uh, yeah, because I've seen this trick before. It's okay. Like magician's joke. All right, here we go. And then just uh, go ahead and put it in there. All right, here we go. The Fresno surprise. There's actually multiple surprises. Here we go. The first surprise is, look at this. <gasps> one card is red, and it has Fresno written on it. How did you do? Okay. So that's surprise one. But okay, that could just be any card, but hopefully it's your card. That is The king of spades. Yes. Yeah. With the red. Right? With the yes. writing. With the writing on the back. You're good. Okay, we're good on that one then. The Fred, that's surprise number one. Here's surprise number two. Did it have that written on it when you took the card? No. Then how do you explain that in my pocket, I have the blue one? How do you do this? So that's the second surprise. Okay. All right, are you ready for more surprises? I'm ready for more okay. surprises. Let's, let's do this again here. Choose, choose another card. Make it a good one there. I need both my hands for this. All right. All right, is that the one you want? You want to change? No, this is what I okay, want. Okay, go ahead. You can show the camera. All right, we're good. Okay, and we'll mix it in. This time the, the trick will be a little, little bit different because if I do the same trick, you'll catch me. <laughs> That's kind of a magician's thing. We never do the same trick okay. twice, but I will uh, do one of those. All right, and I'll give it a little mix here. All right, Emily, can you hold your hand out? With all that shuffling, would you be amazed or surprised if your card was on top of the deck? Yes. All right, let's see if I got it. Is that it? No. Queen, queen of hearts, but with the blue. Oh, you said no. But it did have a blue back. Though. It did, yes. Okay, so I'm half right. You are? All right. Now, oh. you know what? <laughs> Here's the next surprise, actually. What do you think this card is? Well, that's a, that was the first card. Actually, wait. This is the queen of hearts. What? What's the card in your hand? This is, is my card? card. That's the last surprise. How did you? How do you do that? I just get lucky, you know. <laughs> do people yell at you like this? <laughs> That's you, exactly what they when say. When you do magic. Oh, what? Oh I'm so God. confused. They don't know what's happening. They okay, don't know what's what happening. else do you have? Okay, uh, 
Um, so you can see all, all you you saw all the cards. They were all yes. they were all different, right? Yes. Um, we're gonna try something else. This time I'm gonna go through the cards. I don't even want you to, to take a card out. Okay. Just touch one. Just touch one. And I'll show you as I go through. Oh, this one here? Yeah, that one right okay, there. Okay, right here. I'm gonna show you this card. Okay. To you and to the camera. Again, I'm closing okay. my eyes. I have to be diligent about remembering. Okay, okay. yeah, remember. I the, remember. The camera's it. watching. Okay. And we're gonna do something strange with this. I have something in this pocket. Actually, it's in this pocket. Sorry, I was getting ready. Here it is, matches. Now, I don't want to burn the place down, so can you take a match out, please? And um, let's, there we go. Use your imagination and just pretend to light the match. All right, and then go ahead, look at, look at the match. Imagine there's a flame. Oh, Imagine so your card is in the flame. Okay, and blow it out and drop it on the floor. We'll pick it up later. And then take the matchbook, hold, hold your hand out flat, and then take the matchbook, close your hand around it tight, Turn your hand over. I'm going to get the matchbook that you're holding to change places with the card that you're thinking of. Okay. So think of your card, the matchbook you're holding. Boom. Hold on. There we, I think I got it, Emily. Did I get it? Open up your hand. If this is the card, I'm going to lose my mind. Turn it over. <gasps> no, I mean, open up the matchbook. Stop it. Stop it. Is that your card? Stop. Show them. Okay. Okay. That's Stop the card. It. You get. You just gave me a book of matches, didn't you? You have to watch the tape. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Do you have one more for us? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. How about something like the mentalism? <laughs> um, I'm going. I've. I've. I've forced my phone. Sorry about that. There it is. It's in my pocket. Here it is. This is what magicians, we always deal with pocket management. We have stuff in all the pockets. Okay, I have a list of a hundred cities in California. One of them is, is Fresno. It's okay. on my phone here. It's in, it's in the, the, the notes app here. Um, it's, uh, it's one of these cities here. Uh, there's a hundred cities. goes from San Bernardino to Sunnyvale. Okay. So I'm going to close this out. We'll start over here. I'm going to try to send you the number that Fresno is at. All right. So are you ready? I'm going to send it to you. So start counting up some numbers um, just in your mind, in oh. your mind. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm thinking right. numbers. Are you thinking numbers? Uh -huh. Like two-digit numbers, like uh -huh. one through a hundred. Yes. And yes. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. What is the number that you're thinking of? And then I'm going to open up the phone and we'll see if my powers of mental, you know, influence have worked. 53. 53, okay. Uh, let's see, the notes app here. Cities in California. Um, I'm gonna let you see first, and then I'll show the camera. Look, you can see number 17 is Antioch. It's oh, Oxnard. Berkeley. Oxnard, yeah, <laughs> Hayward. But you said 53. What number? Stop What it. city is at 53? Fresno. Fresno. I don't know if you can. I don't. Know, I don't even that. know why you I can said. See all the I cards don't are even know oh. why I said that number because initially I was thinking like seven, two, eleven, and then you were like, "Okay, do double digits," and then I thought fifty-three. How did it you worked out? How do, we, we does have a the, connection? Does the magician ever reveal his secrets? No, never. <laughs> but if people want to hire you, they've got an event, they've got a wedding, yeah. they have something going on. How do they get in touch with you? So they can visit me on my website, David Martinez Magic. Com. I'm, I am blown away. I'm a believer. I hope everybody out there is a believer now, too. We'll have all the information online. Thank you so much for being here. I, you've, you've set my day up now to, to be magic. Thank you so much. Everybody else, stay right there. We'll be right back.